Hello, this is Sabrina with a video tutorial for Clear Snap, and today we're going to be creating some pretty gift packaging with the new uh, Teresa Collins for Colorbox Pigment Inks, um, along with our roller graph, color blender, and a fun stamp set. Uh, I'm just going to show you three sort of tips and tricks for um, for personalizing your uh, packaging, and then also for turning your uh, your plain basic supplies into something a little bit more exciting. So let's get started. So to begin with, we're going to do um, a very uh, simple little technique using the Loft Black Ink and our Jumbo Dots Roller Graph. We're going to just turn this plain uh, greenish ribbon into a polka dot ribbon. Um, you can use any stamp set that you have or any uh, roll-on uh, stamp set that you have. I personally like the roller graph, the jumbo roller graph, just because it's so wide and you can um, you can ink up that length of ribbon in pretty much no time flat. I'm just rolling rolling that across there once, and then I'm gonna hit it with the heat gun to help let that ink dry, so I can use it right away. And then uh, I'm just going to wrap it around my box. If you want to layer up some ribbons, I think that looks especially pretty and feminine. I just used some lace and some metallic twine along with a stamped tag. For our second little trick here, I'm going to just take a basic sheet of white wrap and I'm going to add a background um, using this tassel stamp set from Hero Arts. I think this is so much fun and it's great for birthdays. So I've just cut a small section here uh, to show you an example. You can definitely use um, craft, craft paper too. Um, any of these colors would look very sophisticated on craft ink as well. So to begin with, I'm going to um, stamp that, that tassel swag, kind of. And when I'm stamping a background, I like to start directly in the middle. That way I can kind of make sure that everything lines up evenly. Evenly, excuse me. So I'm going to just stamp all the way across the across the sheet of gift wrap here. And then I'm just going to eyeball it to continue on that pattern above and below the original stamping. But um, if you wanted to make sure that everything was perfectly lined up, you could stick um, some grid paper underneath your gift wrap and that'll help you um, help you to line everything up nice and evenly. So just to make things a little bit simpler, I'm stamping the black swag um, before I add the tassels. Just doing that uh, that color all at once, um, creating one step of the background at a time, and then adding on um, just just for a little assembly line quickness. So I'm just about finished with this, and then we're going to go in and add a pattern using those cute tassel images that are included in this stamp set. One of the great things about these, um, this selection of pigment ink from Teresa Collins is that all of the colors, um, they go together very well. They're sort of classic, um, sophisticated colors. It's the red, the teal, the pink, the two shades of gold a shade of silver, a shade of black and white. So no matter which way you combine them, you're going to get something that's really um, chic and sophisticated uh, without much without much effort at all. All right, so here I'm using the Glitz Gold um, along with the Glam Green, and I'm just using those two colors and then the black in the background um, to create my pattern. Uh, this is a little bit, a little bit more time consuming, but it's kind of relaxing too. You can um, listen to a podcast or watch a video while you're stamping. And also, you can, um, if you're packaging up some smaller items, you can just buy one uh, roll of gift wrap, of plain gift wrap. And then you can um, personalize it with your stamps however, um, however you wish.
And you can see I just wrapped it up here, added a little bit of ribbon and a bow and gift tag. All right, so for our last little trick, we're just going to embellish a gift tag. This is a way if you're um, if you're using pre-made uh, paper or pre-made gift bags, this is just a little a nice little way to add a bit of personalization. So I am using our Colorbox Color Blender here to blend on uh, the two shades of gold, the Glitz Gold and the Glam, the Gold Glam. And I'm just blending those on each other. I'm using this post-it note and that's going to help me um, create a sort of a stark start and stop point. Um, you could definitely skip the post-it note if you, if, you like, um, if you like the colors to blend into one another a little bit more. But I just applying that pigment ink, it uh, goes on nice and thickly, and I just like to use sort of a circular motion to blend the color. All right, then we'll peel that off and add our sentiment to the top. I have this um, happy birthday sentiment that I like to use, but it's a little bit too long for this tag. So a quick way um, to remedy that, to split those um, two words up, is to just, again, use a post-it note to cover up the second word. And then I can stamp the happy. I'm going to use a baby wipe to clean that off and then stamp off any of the excess color or wetness. And then I will cover up the birthday, I'm sorry, I'll cover up the happy and ink up the birthday to stamp that just below. And then I can use this on my pre-made gift bag. Thank you so much for joining me today. For more ideas and inspiration, be sure to visit us at clearsnap.com and we'd love to see your holiday gift packaging. So be sure to tag us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.